Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stocks with Show market review of the Costco. Costco actually gapped up today. I didn't do it. I didn't feel like doing it because I watched one down gap today, and I didn't think there was a lot of good things today. And I did say today I thought it would be a tricky day to trade, and it was. It was, and actually I had a friend just call me now, and he said, oh, he had a down day. And I said, why don't you do what I told you to do? And he didn't. So I think, you know, <laughs> there's one thing that's really interesting. When I get up in the morning and I look at the morning in the pre-market and I look at the market and then I look at the gaps, if I say it's going to be a hard day to trade or if I say it's going to be an easy day to trade, I'm never wrong. There was a broker I traded at, this was a long, 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 long time ago. Gosh, when was this? I don't even talk to these people anymore. <sighs> It might have been five years ago or something. It was a long time ago. Anyways, there was a place that I used to trade at. And the place I used to trade at, the guy used to say, he used to text me in the morning. And he used to say, do you like it this morning or not? Because he knew that he would, he would watch what I liked. He wanted to know then what I liked. And then I would tell him if I liked something or not. And then every day I would say, I didn't like anything. He always remind me, don't trade today, Melissa. Because he knew then of the pattern that I was right. That if I didn't see it in the morning, then it wasn't there. Like I have a, just a great natural eye. And I would sometimes trade anyways. Even when I knew that I wasn't supposed to. This is a long time ago when I was by myself. And and then I would have to be, start the day down, fight to come back. You know, and it was just, it, I, was, I made my life difficult. The one reason that I realized about trading, one of the things I like about gaps, and one of the things I like about shorts is because they move so fast, is that, the fastest money I can make is the easiest. It's not stressful. When I see it before the market, I know it's going to work. I just, you know, I just don't, I'm at the place in my life with everything I know with trading and financially and everything else that I just don't want to be stressed anymore. The least amount of stress I can have is the happiest existence that I could possibly have. Uh, so this morning I said that I didn't really think there was anything that great. I liked two things to watch. One didn't set up at all. One did set up, and that was it. But I did call Costco, but I didn't do it. So the point I'm trying to make is that I did say in the room today that it was going to be a tough day to trade, and then I thought it was it was fine if you didn't trade it all today. And then if you did do one thing, and that's all I did was one thing, I did make money in the thing that I did, but it didn't follow through. So I knew the market had the possibility of being tricky today, and it was because it's really strong. It's very, very strong. And it faked lower, but it wasn't going to go anywhere lower because the market's really strong. And people are anticipating the market going lower, even though it gapped down the other day. It didn't follow through. Today it gapped up. It didn't look like it followed through, but it actually did follow through. And so I said it was going to be a tricky day. And it really, really was. And the thing I realized after talking to my friend is that he said, well, why? I just wanted to do what I wanted to do. You know, if you're in my room, if you're trading in my room, if you're there, listen to what I say. I mean, that's why you're paying me to be there. And if you took my class, listen to what I say. And, you know, there's mostly men that trade in the market. I will say this. It's, it's a male-dominated industry for the most part. But I think the one benefit I have as a woman that I trade – and, and, and for me to teach people, mentor them as well, is that uh, you've got to take your ego out of the equation. You have to take your ego out of the equation. You have to be in that space, that space of knowing. There's a difference between ego and conviction. There's a difference between ego and knowing. You almost have to just release it and allow yourself to trust in what I'm telling you and just listen to what I say and do exactly what I say to do. If you're there in the room. And if you're in the class, you took the class and do exactly what I taught you to do in the class. So some people didn't listen to me today, but I said it wasn't going to be an easy day. Tomorrow, Friday, is going to be the good day. And yesterday was too. Anyways, let's look at this. So here I called Costco. It rallied. This was a good long. It did rally here, and I did call this, but this isn't right. So what I, I didn't do it, by the way. But would I have stayed through this, let it break through the low? No, I would not have. This is very herky-jerky. This is a machine that does this. A bar wouldn't look like that without a machine. But this was a nice move. It ran up here, ran up almost a dollar. This was a move. You can't let this whole thing trace against you and get stopped out. 
And the market did break at some point this morning. I don't know the time the market broke, but it was probably very similar. That's why this did this. But I will tell you, it bounced off of 149. Rallied, continued higher, didn't continue higher than today, but this will tomorrow. This is a good continuation watch for tomorrow. On the bullish side, higher. 165, 175, 170, 165, 175. Two hundred dollars of the market gets in the spy for Costco this year, but one between one sixty-five and one seventy-five, I'm seeing in here for Costco for the longer term. If you're in this overnight for the longer term for this year, two hundred is a dream target for Costco this year, and it will get there if the market gets to three hundred. But one sixty-five, one seventy-five of the long-term trades in Costco. This wasn't an amazing gap. I said this is a good gap. I didn't say, oh my gosh, I love this thing, no chance of failure. There's a difference. <clears throat> but I said it was a gap you could have bought. I called the trade in it. I didn't do it. But you do have this problem. There's a lot of machines in the market that go long. So you had to drop off here and immediately got bought. This got bought in the tail. This is buying. Let's look at it in a one minute chart. Time of the day was 11 o'clock. Yep, there it is. You see how it immediately got bought there? Like, this is just, like, ridiculous. But, again, I didn't do this. But do you see here? It immediately got bought. This is a machine. Touch the number, didn't break it at all on 149, it immediately got bought. It's a machine order that had it to buy it at 149. See it? So... This was a late trade, though. And I felt the market would rally into the open, I mean, into the close. I felt the market would rally into the close. I kept watching and watching and watching and watching and watching it. I felt that it would. That helped the Costco continue. It ran out of energy and effort and everything it had with itself, so it could not get over the high and follow through. But tomorrow, this is a good, solid, long tomorrow, 153. 153, 152, 153, depending where this gaps tomorrow. This is a long tomorrow. Costco is a long tomorrow, and I think the market rallies tomorrow, so Costco is a good long. 165 to 175 are the realistic targets for Costco for the year 2015, and 200 is a dream target if the market in the SPY goes to 300. But the point I'm trying to make is that... There's no shame in releasing your ego and you're not giving control to someone else when you're listening to what they do. In other words, people that listen to what I do and take direction from me if they're in the room or learn from me in the class, you're not giving me control. You still have your own control. You're making your own decisions. The power is yours. You're, you are allowing everything I say to wave over you like a wave, like picture it like an ocean. It's like Melissa, the sock swish comes over, and I just, I'm like a wave that just goes right over you. Shoot, like that. It's like a wave that goes over you when you're really, really hot. Pretend you're, it's summer, and you're at the beach, and it's 95 degrees out, and you're, and the, and it's flatlining in the ocean. You're out there in the middle, just laying around, and you're like, oh my gosh, I wish I had a good wave to, you know, ride into the beach. I don't know if you like to ride waves. My dad loves to do that. Anyways, you get the wave. The wave is me. The wave comes over you, and it just takes you into the shore, and you just let it go. If you fight the wave, the wave of me, then you're going to fight yourself, so there's no point in it. You're not giving control to the wave. You're just allowing the wave to take you where you need to go faster, and that's really what a good mentor, teacher, person does, like me. You allow the wave to take you where you need to go faster. Could you get to the shore without me? Yes. Will you get there faster with me? Yes. Can you do it on your own without me? Most people can't. So it's like just acknowledge the fact that I have a special gift. And if you're in the room, just do what I say and listen to what I say. And if I say don't trade, don't trade. If I say it's going to be a hard day, do one thing and stop. If I say there's a good gap, then do it. If I say no chance of failure, go all in. Hold to the target. If I say X, Y, Z about the market, do it. Whatever I say, just, 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 just have that trust, that factor. And actually, most people's inability to trust me 
is their inability to trust themselves. It's like a mirror. I'm like a mirror for people. Like when people come to me and they say, I want proof of this. I want proof of that. I want proof, 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 proof. I want yada, 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 yada. And I say to myself, you know what? That person is in a place where they not only don't trust me, they distrust themselves. Okay. So if you're in a place where you trust yourself, you'll trust your own decisions, and therefore you will trust other people. If you are at a place where you don't trust other people or yourself, you're in, you got to get some work done. Because how can you make it through life? How can you get up in the bed in the morning if you don't trust yourself? You have to trust yourself, your own decisions. You have to trust your instinct. This is part of how you become a good trader. And one of the main reasons I'm a great trader, one of the reasons I even got to this point in the first place, is because I do trust myself. When I was at the point when I was losing, when I was losing so bad, oh my gosh, and I was just losing, and I was trading in the morning, and giving money back in the afternoon, and then just, just going through the cycle, and everyone in the world was lecturing me, and everyone was telling me to quit. I trusted myself. I knew that I could do it. I knew that I could do it, and, and I did, and I kept going. So if I hadn't trusted myself, I would never even be here. Not only would I not be here with my own personal training, I would not have impacted and affected as many people's lives as I had. The fact that I trusted myself is the number one reason why I'm here today, trading the market and touching people's lives. I'm impacting people's lives in a, in a, in a positive way, a way that I would, that, that if they had not met me, they would not have, they would not have be where they're at with their own lives. That's huge. That's massive. And I didn't even realize that when I started to teach. And I'm realizing that as time goes on, the impact that I'm actually having on people, it's, it's, it's touched me, okay, which I, was not the purpose of me even doing the business in the first place, but I see that now is the bigger picture. But the reality is that if you've got to learn to trust yourself, take the ego out of the equation, let me and the socks wish, which is me, become a way that just takes you into the shore of where you want to go. You're not going to do it better than me. No one out there sees gaps better than me. And no one sees the market better than me either. So don't think that you're going to see something better than me because you won't. So let the wave wash over you. Listen to what I say. Trust yourself. Learn from me. Let the wave wash over you, which is the trades, the learning, everything I'm saying, the calls. And you move forward. And then as time goes on, what happens is you get closer and closer and closer to shore by yourself. But it's a process. It's a process of trusting yourself and trusting yourself to do it and trusting the process of the market, actually. So this is Melissa with SockSwish.com. I just did a review on Costco. Costco is higher tomorrow without a shadow of a doubt. And I saw the long-term target on that for this year is 165, 175. That's realistic. 200 is a dream target on Costco this year. Neither way, this is higher no matter what. No chance of failure for Costco to get up and get over here this area and make a new high. I don't know the timing of that. I don't know the timing of that. I'm just saying Costco will make a new high this year. So nice long-term trade here in Costco. Nice swing trade. And if you'd like to sign up for the swing trade letter, you can email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. It's $99 a month and $1,000 for the year. Have a great night, everyone.